going on guys? Thank you for being here. I am just now getting back home from Palm Springs, California. I was at an all-inclusive resort, which I had never been to anything like that before, and it was incredible. I cannot wait to go back. I was actually there for a work trip. It was President's Club, if you guys are not aware. President's Club is the highest level achievement you can receive at most sales organizations or any company, really. We all have our own version of PC, and it was such a phenomenal experience. It's for the highest performing sales professionals. I was lucky enough to be included in that group this year. And not only was it a blast, but more importantly, I was surrounded by people that were much better than me. And I started to reflect, I was looking around and I was like, how in the hell am I here right now? Because I am the epitome of an average guy. I have average intelligence, I have average genetics, I come from you know a middle class family with all of these things just kind of point to me being an average person. So I'm like, well, how did I get into such an elite group? And I kind of wanted to share some thoughts and experiences with all of you guys because I think one thing that I do very, very well is that I'm always prepared and I never fall behind. I'm always working ahead. So if you're like me, you work the traditional, you know, nine to five corporate America job, you might look at your weeks as being Monday to Friday. Whereas for me, mine really goes Sunday to Friday because on Sunday night, I know this is what's going to set me up for success. So I'm always logged in on Sunday night. I'm making sure that I have no outstanding emails, no outstanding tasks that I can't already complete for Monday going in because as we all know, Mondays are mad dashes and the last thing you wanna do is add any more stress or any more anxiety to that. And when you're really trying to break out of being quote unquote average, I would really suggest that you don't do what everyone else is doing because most people, they don't do that unless they're in that elite group. So make sure you're benchmarking with the right people. And it goes above and beyond just your profession, you know? Most people watching this channel place a large emphasis on their health, and I do as well. So when I think about that, I need to start getting those things prepared so that I'm not making excuses throughout the week to fall off track. So I've got my meals prepped, I've got some meat thawing out, so that way when I get home from work, I've got no excuses, everything is right there and ready to go. All of this really comes down to being prepared and also just doing things that not everyone else would do. And that's the only way you're going to get above average results. So as you guys can imagine, all-inclusive resort, there was some amazing food involved. Now, did I overdo it? Absolutely. Do I regret it? Absolutely not. Yesterday, we were at this buffet. I'm pretty sure I ate like four plates, one of them being all dessert. But, you know, it's, it's all part of the experience. So typically, you guys know Sunday is my day to refuel, which is today. Now, even though I had a few days where I, I kind of went overboard a, a little bit, you know, I'm still going to have a fair amount of food tonight because that is my routine. And I'm a firm believer of sticking to routines, even when other things try to get in the way, because what I, what I found is staying consistent leads to a lot of positive long-term results. Nothing like last time, man. We're doing some some standard. Great thumbnail. It's all about the clickbait, man. Oh, yeah, that would be great. That's all that really matters at the end of the day. Look at how big this burrito is. And I love coming to Freebirds because the hospitality is always great. The manager in there that you just saw, if you guys remember, made me that huge burrito. That thing had to be like 12 pounds. I can't really remember. Greg, can we flash that back for the people so they can see that beautiful creation? It's like a five to eight pound burrito. Let's do that. So I'm not gonna be able to do this with one hand, but the trick here is you wanna dip the burrito, oh my goodness, in the barbecue sauce. That is what we call a game changer. I wanted to give a huge thank you to this company called the Cleveland Brownie Company. It's from Cleveland, Ohio, which you guys know, I'm originally from the Buckeye State. And just take a look 
at these brownies. These look amazing. When I posted these to Instagram, I got so many DMs back, which if you don't follow me on Instagram, you definitely should right there. Give the kid a follow. Come on, guys. So tonight, I think I'm going to try this one right here. This is the kitchen sink. It's got pretzels, M&Ms. It even has like potato chips in there. So a little bit of sweet and saltiness. We'll see what this is all about. All right. So here is going to be the official taste test. Hmm. You know, I'm impressed. It almost reminds me of like of Christmas. That's what M&M's and pretzels kind of remind me of. I don't know why it has some caramel in there. It has a lot of different layers. Don't get me wrong. It's stacked. I don't even know if I'll be able to finish this entire, this entire thing, but if you guys are interested in this, go check out the Cleveland Brownie Company on Instagram. Pretty sure they have them for sale every week. I'm afraid 357 is going to come very, very early tomorrow, but I've got to make sure I get back into my workout routine. Absolutely no excuses, even though I'm probably going to be awake a little bit later than I would like. Unfortunately, Megan's flight going back to her place got delayed and she's on Eastern Standard Time, which is even worse because it's going to be so late by the time she gets back there. And I feel terrible about it. So I'm going to stay up, make sure she got home okay, and then I will be getting to bed. And regardless of how how many hours I get of sleep, hopefully at least a few, I am going to be in that gym tomorrow. I'm going to be honest, I did not want to get out of bed this morning, but the only thing that feels worse than dragging yourself out of bed on the mornings you don't want to is not getting out of bed and getting done, whatever it is that you're waking up for. <laughs> Nothing like high rep squats, four o'clock in the morning on a Monday. They felt absolutely terrible, but terrible in a good way. So glad that those are over. I'm gonna be moving on to Bulgarian split squats. I hate this exercise so much and that is the only reason that I do them. Even though it feels like I might throw up, I really do feel so much better. And it looks like nobody wanted to join me on this beautiful Monday morning. But whether it's something in the gym or something completely outside of the scope of fitness, if there's something that scares you or makes you feel uncomfortable, my recommendation would be just run straight towards it because as cliche as it sounds, that is where you are going to experience the most amount of growth. <laughs> My breakfast every single day, the Pea Science Select Protein Bar Fudge Brownie. You can save 15% using Travis at PEScience.com. It is delicious. I look forward to it every single day and every Monday and Wednesday. This is my lunch. I have my taco salad here and some cashews. So I'm going to go to work and I will check back in with you guys this afternoon. The reason I do not do grocery haul videos is because I buy the same foods every single week. I like what I like. It makes life so much easier just to know what I'm already going to intake for the day. So I've got corn, beans for my taco salad, got potatoes, pickles. I almost said pretzels. I don't know why, but this fresh cut salsa with extra cilantro. I love it. Always like to get a little bit of ice cream. These are my favorite Greek yogurts. We got some vegetables, the best rice cakes of all time, blueberry, strawberry, egg, we got some ham over here and as well as some salmon, which I try to eat at least one uh, once a week. And that is pretty much the same every single week. When it comes to nutrition, consistency is really the key. Now, if you want to get all crazy in the kitchen, be my guest. But if you're a busy working professional, it's probably going to be most efficient to just stick to the basics, stick to foods that you like and kind of rotate those foods every few weeks or so. But you don't have to eat something new every single day. I eat this, this cauliflower, cauliflower rice. Sorry, I can't speak today and ground beef almost every single day, I would say, and mix in the sugar-free barbecue sauce. Game changer. I have about 200 grams of potatoes, which looks kind of sad now that I look at it. But all in all, it's a very well-rounded meal and it tastes delicious. 
So the majority of all my nights are spent right here in front of the computer working. Nothing too exciting, but I really do feel like I get the upper edge because my days are almost divided in two. I have two day and two night. And what this allows me to do is get all of this, you know, computer work done. So during the day, I can focus just on customers. And I really do, I don't want to get too preachy about it, but I do attribute a lot of that to my success. But I think there's a fine line, right? Because everyone has their threshold of what they're going to be able to sustain. So for some people, my lifestyle would just not work for them. I think it's just finding about what works for you. You know, I try to have a hard cut off at 8 p.m. I'm going to miss that tonight because I still have a whole lot of stuff to do. But if I cut off at 8, I can still get some food and get plenty of rest for the next day. And my favorite way to end the night, one poverty brownie. Look at, that's just, that is art right there. I get so many questions on how it turns out so well. Well guys, you probably know by now, you really have to use the pea science select protein and use Travis to say 15% or else it's just not gonna work. But in addition to that, I like to have four whole eggs, get some healthy fats in there and then I sleep like a baby. Now days like today, you can stick to your schedule, that's great, right? But most of us live in the real world besides those soft people that leave weird comments on my YouTube videos. But for the majority of us, we live in reality. So things will inevitably get in the way and that's perfectly fine. You just make adjustments and just control what you can control. And if you do that, you will be just, just fine, my friends. Now I'm headed to bed and then we kind of, we do the same thing all over again. What do you think about these blue light blocking glasses? These are from Movement, and I think they're pretty stylish, but I know you will give me your opinions in the comments down below. I just feel like I watch that, or I look at that computer screen so long, I needed to do something to protect my eye health. But I'll let you know how it goes. I did want to apologize for the video title if it seems like it's a little bit douchebaggish because I would agree, but this is the internet and you do anything to get clicks and money is always a hot topic, which is why I'm excited for the sponsor of today's video and that is Experian. So Experian developed Boost to help people instantly improve their credit scores. Experian Boost works by giving you the credit for bills you're already paying through your bank account, you know, like water, gas, electric, cable, cell phones, so things that you're already doing, which is nice. And this is actually the first time the credit bureau is allowing consumers to submit utility and telecom payments to be added to their credit file. Experian Boost is exclusive to Experian and is completely free. There is no credit card required at all. And most people who boost do see an increase. The consumer is in complete control and you can add or remove boost anytime. There are no obligation. And Experian is trying to boost America's credit scores. So you might as well go ahead and boost yours today. So Experian Boost can potentially help increase your access to credit. It is secure. It's 100% free. You can increase your FICO score in an instant. You don't have to wait a whole lot of time. It's like that. It's pretty nuts, guys. So make sure to go over to Experian.com slash Travis S. It's only at Experian. Download it. I will also leave that link right down below. I think a lot of you can get a lot of value out of this. And the exact same dinner as last night, as the most prolific philosopher of our time once said, if it ain't broke, don't break it. Shout out Lil Wayne. I would really love to know some of your guys' routines. Is it as standard as mine? Is it very repetitive? Or do you guys kind of switch it up a little bit more? I feel like I'm an overly routine person, so it's always good to kind of hear some of the varying opinions out there. There's pros and cons to that, that is for sure. And that is it, my friends. That is my routine. I kind of miss making these weekday videos for you guys like I used to do back in the old days. If you enjoy them, let me know in the comments down below. I'm sure on Sunday, I'll be stuffing food in my face for all you food weirdos out there. But thank you all so much for taking the time out of your day to watch. You could have been doing anything, anything in the entire world, and you chose to spend a few minutes with me. That is pretty awesome. Please give the video a like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. And I look forward to talking to you guys next time.